What can I do for you? I'm sorry to trouble you, Dr. Soper, but I've been thinking about this camping trip for the girls that have to remain with us during the holidays. What about it? Well, I was wondering whether it really was such a good idea. Perhaps you're forgetting, Matron, it was my idea. Oh, no. No, no, and of course it is. An absolutely splendid one. But... But what? Well, I was wondering whether perhaps they might find it a trifle spartan. I mean, they're being such delicate and refined girls. <laughs> really trying to make is that here I can keep full control over them. But outside, well, anything might happen. You seem to be forgetting, Miss Haggard. You're coming with us. Surely you and I together can keep suitable control. I'm thinking about the girls. <laughs> so am I. Oh. Uh, but don't you see, it raises the problem of sex. I assure you, Matron, I wouldn't dream of bothering you in that way. And I meant with the girls. They're liable to come into contact with boys. Oh, yes, but I don't think that'll be a problem. It's been my experience that once young people sample the delights of country life and the wonders of nature, oh, they just can't get enough of it. Exactly. I was thinking of the girls. So was I. Exactly. Well, I do hope you're right, Dr. Soper. Oh, yes, yes, I assure you, Matron. But I take the point you made earlier. Yes, these girls have led very sheltered lives. They don't even know what boys are. I suggest you give them a little talk on the subject. Oh, nothing too frightening. Just stick to the birds and the bees, with a possible reference to the behavior of monkeys. Well, I'll try, Dr. Sofa. Good, good. If any of them feel any unnatural urges or the desire to do something they shouldn't, well, send them straight to me. You? Yes. Well, I was thinking about the girls. So was I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 